It seems like a month of Sundays, doesn't it? I want to say greetings, good evening, and how you doing? Live from the vault in the Full Range Entertainment Studios in beautiful Birmingham, Alabama, this is Global Championship Wrestling's GCW Radio, back in the saddle and ready to ride. The sun may have gone down, but the stars always come out. Fast study lane behind the control panel. You got it. Welcoming in. Longtime tag team partner. Good to talk to you. Mad Dog Dan Sawyer. Feels like the old days, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's get it going, man. We got a lot of great things to talk about tonight, this Saturday night. They're talking about March 30th, Pell City Civic Center. I'm excited. I've talked to a lot of fans. They're excited. I'm going to black Micah Taylor's eyes shut. I'm going to hammer him down. He's going to know what hit him come this Saturday night. I'm going to get a chance at that belt. And I thank you very much for stepping up with the board of directors, telling them that I deserve the title shot that I'd never really got shot. I let O'Hagan take my spot after the I quit match. Right. But uh, I, I'm running and gunning, and it's time. It's time to step in the ring. And, you know, we're coming off a big show this weekend. Uh, over in Tryon, Georgia, Tryon High School, they had over 750 fans there for the local <laughs> championship wrestling. Nice. And I got to wrestle Micah, but I tell you, you know, this one's going to be for the belt. He refused to put the belt on the line, and I didn't get a win, but he refused to put the belt on the line this last weekend on Friday night in Tryon, Georgia. But, uh, you know, that's not the way it's going to be this Saturday in Pell City at the Civic Center March 30th. And, you know, surrounded by a great bunch of great matches. You know, the GCW Tag Team Champions, Unlucky Charms, being challenged by High Def. Uh, we've got the first ever ladies GCW Tag, I mean, uh, <laughs> ladies title match. Tracy Taylor being challenged by Octavia. So a great night for the gold. You know, eight matches. Come on out and check this out. You know, this isn't like some card up in western Alabama that gives you four matches. Hmm. And uh, promises a bunch of stars that don't even are not even there, and saying that there's a legend retiring, that this is his last match, and you know this crap wrestling is going to be kicked to the side. And I don't care, you can tell them. You know, GCW makes a stamp on on, on the wrestling world every time we put on a show, and we bring the best things to the card. And it is just because I'm affiliated. I'm just saying that the best wrestlers in the world compete in Global Championship Wrestling, and we prove that every show. You don't see the same three guys, you know, uh, under different masks and stuff. These guys are uh, raw talent. Jake Cole, O'Hagan, Showtime, Shane Fox, Scotty Blaze, Jeremy Foster, Cody O'Connor. I can go on all night long. Not to mention, you got the underground. You know, these guys, they've been a thorn in everyone's side in the wrestling mm -hmm. world for the last year and a half. Yeah, they but, have. Uh, there's a lot of talent with Spiral and Micah Taylor, uh, Tracy Taylor, Sean Coons, uh, Xander Stone, Spiral, you know, St Steve Styles. I mean, there are so many great wrestlers that are performing with us on a regular basis. It's just, if, if you've got the time this Saturday night, spend $10 wisely. I know it's the big weekend. G.I. Joe is opening up. You can go catch that on Thursday or Friday or even wait till Sunday to the matinee. But where you need to be this Saturday night is at the Pell City Civic Center. I guarantee you that you are dead solid perfect on that one. And I want to expound on a couple of things real quick. Number one, thank you to everybody who is listening through BeyondRingside.com. Um, the feed is open over on Ustream, but we are not monitoring the chat over on Ustream or the GCW Ustream site. Everything we've got going right now, especially the chat room, is located over on BeyondRingside.com right now. Also, if you trump over this way, uh, there are no Ustream ads that pop up in a random time fashion, so you never know who's going to be interrupted when. So, my luck, Ustream ran an ad right then, so therefore they didn't hear what I just said. But from that vantage point, be sure to keep your eyes open, GCWPro.com. And, of course, Facebook.com slash GCWProWrestling is the Facebook fan page at GCWProWrestling over on Twitter. You got it. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And also be our friend on Facebook as well. Facebook.com slash GCWPro. Want to go ahead and expound on something you said a minute ago. When, when um, You know, you, you make it sound like it's really a big deal. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate the gravity of the situation. But I'm going to say this, me to you, the strides that you have made, a lot of people know the health issues that you've come through. A lot of people don't. 
and we're not going to go too heavy, heavily into that right now, but you have fought your way through some serious medical conditions, not to mention the fact that you have, in your own words, dropped a ton. You've lost some weight. You've gotten back in the gym. You've been able to dedicate yourself full time. You are in probably the best shape you've been in in a while. You have been absolutely on fire. And as one of my heroes in broadcasting would say, Dan Patrick, he's been in fuego. <laughs> you ain't kidding. Still one of my, after all these years, still one of the best. And you've turned in some great matches. And I took into consideration the fact that when you won the I Quit match, and you basically thrust O'Hagan into the spotlight, and you put him as the number one contender, the person who would be picking up the, um, the title match. You were very selfless in that regard. And since time has passed, and things are in place the way they are, I wanted to go to bat for you. Because, and this is, Micah has been a fighting champion, yes, but he also picks and chooses his times where he will fight. And when I saw the opportunity, there were some open contracts. And Micah and the Underground's front office, the attorneys they have, inadvertently left this one as an open contract. And when I saw that, I went to the board. I said, come on. He has been there. He's made the strides. He's proven himself. He has a victory over Micah Taylor. He should be getting that title shot. And I stated my case in a little bit more detail than I am right now. But the fact of the matter is, I felt you deserved it. I wanted to see you in that championship match because I know that Mad Dog Dan Sawyer taking on Micah Taylor will light up the skies in Pell City that night. I know we'll blow the roof off the Pell City Civic Center. And my favorite phrase, we'll rock those walls. The fact of the matter is, the stipulations that have been put in play. You've had some great moments in the Pell City Civic Center. Micah Taylor's had some great moments in the Pell City Civic Center. The venue will not provide an advantage. But I think right now, the stipulations, Micah asked for one of them. You asked for one. And we all sat back and said, yep, this can work. This balances it out. This makes it a fair situation for both parties involved, for challenger and for champion. And if there is one thing that I've always been on the side of, it has been standing up for the best interest of the fans in global championship wrestling. You know that better than anybody, Daniel. <laughs> and in this circumstance, March 30th, the Pell City Civic Center, it's going to be a hell of a fight. It's going to be a great match. And the end, in the end, I'm not going to prognosticate. I'm not going to predict in any capacity whatsoever. You know me better than that. I will not put my butt out there like that. I will say ultimately the winner is going to be the fans because they are going to be treated to some genuine, hard-hitting professional wrestling action as can only be brought by Global Championship Wrestling. Agree or disagree, my friend? I, I agree. And like you said, it's not because... I'm on the card. I just know that, you know, I've got some things to prove to myself. You know, um, I said something today in the training center. I wrote it on the dry erase board. You know, people say, you know, Eminem put it in a line of his songs from the eight mile soundtrack. Failure is not an option. Let me tell you, failure is always an option. It's just you got to do everything you can to keep from failing. And this is going to be one of those times that uh, I've got to do everything I can. To, to watch my back, you know, I, I've got a lot of friends in the back. Uh, Mike has got a lot of friends in the back. We've both got fans in the crowd. Uh, you know, my my fans are better looking than his. I'm just <laughs> kidding. No, I'm just oh! kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm talking about hot ice, man. He's got it. He, he's supporting me 100. percent And uh, you know, Precious. So I, I tell you, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be a precious moment in the Pell Civic Center. Civic Center. And, uh, you know, I've got the hot ice, and I, I've got a lot of supporters out there, uh, you know, that that do come out and support me. And our cause, he's, he's going to be crossing the fence because I know he likes Micah and me. The whole heel section is going to be there. You know, you know, and it doesn't matter if you boo me or cheer me. Just come on out because I promise you it's going to be a war. 
you know. And uh, it's probably not one for the uh, faint at heart because uh, we, we're going to throw down. You know, we started throwing garbage cans at each other this uh, last weekend on Tryon, Georgia. Ended up putting a garbage can over his head and spinning him around. And uh, that was some comedy moments. But, uh, you know, if you can't see, you really can't fight. And uh, we both submit each other in the middle of that ring, and I'm sure we're going to try to do it again this time. But, uh, you know, we're going to see what's happening. You know, we got the no DQ, but last man standing. So, you know, let's make it Falls count anywhere. I'll, I'll take any stipulation he adds on there. Uh, I'm not scared. I, I'm ready to fight. You know, I'm ready to go. Like I said, I'm going to black his eyes shut. I'm going to pound him. You know, he, he may... He may be the technical wrestler, and uh, you know, and he has a lot of great skill. But I'm I'm going to outfight him come this Saturday night in Pell City. You know, and real quick, I want to take a look over in the chat room. Um, awesome BM Brandon, glad to see you, kid. Johnny C, Zerdreus, Mad Madge, I believe Hot Ice is in there. We've got a couple of people under the. Um, when you come over to the chat room, it'll automatically give you an anon title. Uh, if you look down to the bottom <laughs> right of the chat room, you will see where it says log in or sign in. You can create a name for free in the chat room over on BeyondRingside.com right now. And like I said, for everybody listening over on Ustream, come on over to BeyondRingside.com. Chat room is going full speed over there. Uh, Mad Madge posted in the chat room just a minute ago, Mad Dog for President. Brother, I would vote for you in a heartbeat right now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> could you imagine Mad Dog Care? You know, you got Obamacare. Could you imagine Mad Dog Health Care? Anything's got to be better than what, what the... the <laughs> that, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I don't do politics. Everybody, get, everybody gets a Percocet with coffee. That's what hey! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Percocet and caffeine. Gee, what a surprise. Mm, mm. <laughs> that would be me. Well, let, hey, let's get that young man in here. I, I hear him breathing on the other side of the phone. He's so excited. He's been burning up uh, the roads here lately, and uh, he was with me in Tryon, Georgia, and the man did a double shot and was doing anarchy and GCW in the same night and been working at Empire. He's been all over the place. but Very cool. You know yeah, and this weekend he's he's tagging back up with his lifetime friend. Uh, you know, he went to high school with him, and they have been the JYD recipients. They won the GCW Tag Team Champions. Uh, Mr. Jeremy Foster, are you still hanging in there with us tonight? I, I'm here. I was just listening to that awesome conversation a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, I thought Woody Woodpecker was in the back rack over there. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my first time here on the GCW radio show, so Jeremy, let's pop it away. That's what I say. Brother, first off, yeah. glad to finally have you on board. It's been a long time coming. You know, you've had some great success in Global Championship Wrestling, both as a tag wrestler and a singles wrestler. I mean, I remember rec you've had scenarios in play where um, right now you and one other person who's very popular went head-to-head -head and took it to a time limit draw a while back, and that would be you and O'Hagan, if you remember that match. Oh, yeah, I was back in Palmerdale yeah. sometime last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you've turned in great matches, dude. You have continued to rise up the ranks. And then, lo and behold, when the JYD Memorial kicked off, and I saw an interview that you did with Cause and Effect, Robert Cosper and um, Robert and Stewart, and you and Cody were both on that show, and y'all came across with some great points. Because in the early goings, we sat back and we wondered if it was a little bit of a case of too much too fast. We genuinely did. And when you and Cody started a very notable and memorable feud, not just with Global Championship Wrestling, but one that was talked about all around the southeastern United States, because everybody knew the fact y'all were, as Dan said, lifelong friends. Same high school, y'all both, I mean, very competitive athletically, and then you make the, um, the foray into the world of professional wrestling, and you both come into GCW, and you're just, you're hitting it on all cylinders. And then lo and behold, when, the, when high definition fell apart, and that's the only way that I can put it. A lot of people thought that it was going to genuinely turn into more of a blood feud. And then all of a sudden, Cody kind of disappeared for a little while. I know he was nursing some injuries, trying to get himself back up to speed. And you would battled through a couple of injuries yourself. And then lo and behold, when the JYD Memorial started, and I knew, but I wasn't going to say anything, to be able to make the introduction for the reuniting 
of high definition, Jeremy Foster and Cody O'Connor. What was that really like for you to come through the curtain with your friend all over again? Well, um, I think the surprise factor of everything was probably the most exciting to me as far as, you know, nobody in the crowd knew knew who my partner was. And, you know, the people were sending me emails, text messages, like, who is it? Who is it? Can, can you please? No, 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 guys, we need to wait for this one, you know. Got to kind of kind of hang back this way for the tournament. And, um, but, you know, I kind of, we explained to everybody that, yeah, we might have had it not, not seeing eye to eye there for a little bit, but, you know, for the both of us, it's probably for the better because I think not only for myself, but I can probably speak for Cody as well, that, you know, for high def or whoever we want to be, uh, I think it's about time that, you know, we try to start showing a little bit more as far as what what professional wrestling can be, and we kind of feel like it needs a little bit of a change. And uh, well, yeah, but yeah, we're really all about turning heads nowadays. Hey, Mad Dog, come on in with Jeremy. Yeah, these guys, you know, they had had some training and stuff, and both state wrestling champions and. Uh, you know, they came to me to the House of Pain, and I could tell they had a lot of heart and a lot of skill. And, you know, I've tried to work with them on helping them further their career. And, and I was very proud the night that they won the JYD Tag Team Tournaments, you know. But, you know, we hadn't always seen eye to eye. Uh, when I was uh, a little crazy during a short period of time, I remember uh, the Brotherhood and myself did get a little crazy with, uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> with high definition. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know... <laughs> I could tell those boys did kind of like a Timex watch, take a lick and keep on ticking. So, you know, they've got a lot of heart, but they've got a lot of skill, and, you know, they just want to survive. And I, I think, you know, as singles wrestlers, you know, they did great. But uh, also put them together, and uh, they, they, they've got what it takes to be tag team champions again. I'm not taking anything away from the charms because, you know, I battled those guys in the JYD tournament in the final, and it was an odd pairing because you know, Sean, uh, we had Koontz and uh, Micah Taylor, and then we had the, the charms across the way, and then uh, the mysterious benefactor, if you will, with uh, <laughs> Wicked Nemesis on the outside. Uh, you know, they're, they're just, they've got what it takes to be great champs, and I think that high definition will give them a run for the money on this Saturday night. Matter of fact, Jeremy, if I could, let me go in here from you. This Saturday night, Pell City, Alabama, at the Pell City Civic Center, it is going to be high definition taking on the combination of the GCW Tag Team Champions, the Unlucky Charms. Your thought on that match? I'm glad you asked. Um, You know, really, when it comes down to it, the Unlucky Charms, they've got nothing to prove. Because high death, we have already lost to them before. You know, we lost to them in the second round of the JYT tournament. So they had nothing to prove against us. It's me and Cody, high definition. We're the ones who have to go out there and lay it all on the line. We've got the, we, we're the ones who have to, have to, something to prove to not only no lucky charms, but to the guys in the back in the locker room at GCW, to you, Eddie. To all the all the fans of the GCW out in the crowd, you know, we had our first tag team championship run, and due to my my injury at the time, we had to cut it short about two weeks. Then it, when we had the big TLC match with the Brotherhood and uh, KCP, we had to cut it short again. Also, so this time around, uh, well, what's that old saying? Third time's a charm. Yep. So, third time's a charm. Here we go. Okay, high definition. <laughs> we're the only ones. We we have we have all. We're the ones that have to prove everything to everybody. So this is our third shot to prove to everybody what high def can be and should be in the tag team division. And that's 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 it right there.
it's all going to be high definition. So we'll lay it all on the line, no matter, no matter what. Now, real quick, before we go to the bottom of the hour break, I want to ask this question. You know the strength and the background of the Unlucky Charms. You know what the Oracle of Ominous, the Wicked Nemesis, brings to ringside as a manager and spiritual advisor. Mm -hmm. If there is one way, if I could ask you for one word to size up the match this coming Saturday night, what would be the first word that pops into your head? Well, really, I'd probably take two words together, my glorious and, or glorious and magnificent, I'd call it my glorious. <laughs> That's what I call it. My glorious. That's all I can say about it. Somebody call the Urban Dictionary. We just got a new word. <laughs> well, there you go. My glorious. <laughs> hmm. I got one for you. I'm going to say intense because, you know, the yeah. charms are intense, but uh, so is high definition. You know, they, they've got some... Uh, if I could give some advice, I would say keep them on the mat. Those guys are very strong. Uh, you know, Damon Christopher's got a lot of experience. You know, he's been around. And, you know, Knox, he, he's got a lot of experience in the fighting world. But you're going to try to, you're going to have to uh, get to the mat and try to stay there. You know, you, you guys are both highly skilled with the... Uh, uh, Greco-Roman style of wrestling and use that, you know, use the physics, use the leverage, you know. You don't want that big, either one of these big guys to get a hold of you and get on top of you, so you're going to have to, you know, get out from under the bottom and try to get on top. And, you know, you got a gambit of submissions that you can use, but mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have to try to make this match go as long as you can. Because, uh, you know, you guys do have the youth on your side uh, in this aspect. But, uh, you know, just get in there and do your best. I mean, I know you guys have been training, and I know Cody's been having some serious injuries, again, with his neck. And it's, you know, put him on the sideline a little bit. And you've been keeping the roads hot, like I said earlier, with Anarchy and Empire and the Ultimate Championship Wrestling up in Sheffield a couple weeks back. And, you know... Things are great, but, uh, you know, I'm excited that you guys are getting a shot at these tag team titles. Uh, you deserve it. You work hard, and uh, you got a good attitude. And, you know, the, these guys, you're right. They don't have anything to prove because they're the champions right now, but you got to come in there with a lot of fire and just be ready to go from bell to bell. And I, if you hang in there, I, I think you'll do well. So um, I wish you the best of luck. Well, thank you. Folks, tell you what, we're going to take that bottom of the hour break real quick, and we will be back right here on GCW Radio right after this. Like it, I love it, I want some of it, and I'm not talking about a Tim McGraw song. Welcome back into GCW Radio live on a Sunday night, going at 27 before the top of the hour. Fast Eddie Lane in the Control Center, welcoming back Mad Dog Dan Sawyer. You know, if we had Lee the Terror Baldwin here, that would actually make up the original three um, three way for the uh, radio show, if I remember correctly. Oh, be careful saying three way. So I get the wrong idea. Oh God, I know. Three way dance. I was talking about three way dance. What make are you it talking the, about? Make it the triple threat. There you go. Or unholy alliance. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, want to remind everybody, mark your calendars, make your plans. This coming Saturday night, March the 30th, in the Pell City Civic Center, Pell City, Alabama. Um, bell time is going to be 7.30 p.m. And, of course, tickets are only $10 apiece. Eight big matches on the card, and you know Global Championship Wrestling is going to have some surprises for you. All your favorite stars are going to be there. A lot of your favorite personalities are going to be there. And brand new hardware in play. This coming Saturday night in Pell City, Alabama. Ladies challenge match, plus one, so to speak. Tracy Taylor taking on Octavia. And this will be Mad Dog. I'll let you take it from there. The ladies GCW. First time ever GCW ladies championship match. And Tracy Taylor is the current champion being challenged by Octavia. Hopefully she's been eating her Wheaties and 
staying away from the macaroni and cheese. Hmm. And, uh, you know, focusing on this match, I will say this. She hasn't missed training in three weeks. And uh, she's prepared herself. I think she has taken a lot more serious when she first got in. I think she was just glad to be in a ring and, uh, you know, glad to be wrestling in front of people. And, but now I think she understands that there's a lot more to it than that. Yep. You know, you got to get in there, you know, Tracy Taylor's like a headhunter, you know, she's there and she's there, she's going to take you down, but now there's a whole new element of, uh, you know, a specialist to the match because she has a belt and she does not want anyone taking it, you know, that's that's where the money is, is holding a belt in professional wrestling. And uh, she's willing to put this ma uh, belt up in Shimmer or in Tennessee or anywhere else that uh, people want to challenge her. She said she'd be a fighting champion. And, you know, we heard that in the board of directors meeting the other day that the uh, GCW ladies title would be recognized at all federations around us yep. you know, as far as Memphis Lady Shimmer and... Uh, I can't even think of all the names of the ones going around, but there's there's tons of uh, organizations that are all ladies that are that are having events all throughout the southeast, and you know this belt is going to be recognized by all of them. So um, you know Tracy, she's putting it out there first time in Alabama here. It's her putting the belt on the line. Octavia is the challenger. You know, there are a lot of great lady wrestlers around Pandora, you know. Uh, um, Nina Monet, you know, I mean, there's, there's, Tasha Simone's now retired, but. Oh, uh, uh, well, you know. She, she might be out and about, but Taylor Hendricks, uh, you know, the front office talked about bringing in Kong. Right. You know, this a whole other reason to, to allow such a match to happen, ODB and Tracy Brooks. Uh, both interested in still coming back. You know, they they have made several uh, shows in the past, and uh, it's been a while since we've seen ODB. Yep. I think, uh, I think Sergeant that... Hammer said if uh, we ever brought an ODB to make sure to let him know. Cause, uh, no, that was, was me. Uh, oh, okay. They, they, that was me. Uh, <laughs> slobber, slobber. We definitely not miss that show. <laughs> <laughs> definitely would yeah, I think you finally remember the conversation we had about that. Yeah, if you decide to, if, if we can get things worked out and ODB comes back to global, uh, yeah, I'll be taking a day off. I don't care if I am running for president or governor. <sighs> By the way, I got 35 votes last time when the um, in the gubernatorial election. I think it's just because of the fact that they wanted to hear the words Eddie Lane and Goober in the same sentence. I don't know exactly. what it was. That's, That's right. The Goober George Lindsay's no longer with us. Got to have another Goober. <laughs> that would be me. No, but yeah, and of course, don't forget, um, Sojourner Bolt re um, with us recently in Global Championship Wrestling, and I know that she's expressed an interest in coming back. And like you said a minute ago, when you add gold to that equation, gold, I don't care who you are, is everyone's best friend in the world of professional wrestling. And Global Championship Wrestling is no different, whether it be the television championship, whether it be the tag team titles, whether it be the heavyweight title, and now the advent of the ladies' championship. I mean, think about it, folks. We've just added a new piece of hardware, but think about it is for anybody who thinks you're just going to come in and say, I know something, I want to be the women's champion of global championship wrestling. you got to go through Tracy Taylor to get that. Yep. Now, another one I forgot that was on the list the other day is Heidi Lovelace. Uh, oh. you know, she's playing OVW, and uh, whoever wins this match, um, this Saturday, March 30th, in Pell City, they're probably going to be challenged by Heidi Lovelace in, um, in April. I think it's April 27th. But let's focus on the 30th. Uh, you know, the underground has never went away, really. Yeah. But uh, they've been kicking up a lot of dirt as of late. And um, the team of Spiral, Kuntz, Xander Stone, representing the underground, will be taking on uh, out of control, Jake Cole, uh, <laughs> burning Jake Cole, whatever you want to call him, Showtime, Shane Fox, and Scotty Blaze in a six-man tag. Now, this is a lot of talent in one match, you know. Uh, there are a lot of cards run on a regular basis, don't have that much talent that we have in that one match. So, uh, you know, these guys are great. Fox and Blaze, really good tag team during the JYD tournament this year. Uh, Jake Cole... 
of the up and coming stars in global championship wrestling. And he's just a uh, lot of uh, fire and desire to, to be a winner, uh, not just to be a, a winner in the ring, but out of the ring also. So that's going to match. You know, the whole card is, <laughs> is stacked. It is. I, uh, I've got to say that. And uh, we've got new sensation Steve Styles being challenged by Joey Lightning, stepping into that best of seven where uh, Styles injured the Latino sensation Antonio Garza, uh, Joey Lightning, Birmingham's own there, stepping up, taking on Styles. Uh, this would be just a great match. Uh, you know, Styles got that world's greatest drop kick. Joey Lightning's got the lightning strikes. I mean, this could just be... Uh, a match that no one would really want to follow. Uh, I, I tell you, these guys are—they're bringing it down, and uh, going to see the All-American Chris Jacobs returning to us, uh, yep. taking on the Silent Giant, the Equalizer. And uh, it's been a while since we've seen Chris Jacobs, but uh, uh, just an All-American guy, former military uh, uh, policeman, you know, uh, uh, still in action as, as a police officer, but uh, you know. Chris Jacobs is going to be taking an equalizer. O'Hagan, Aiden Solo, another member of Underground, taking on one half of the five-star fight club, Mr. O'Hagan, former GCW heavyweight champion multiple times. Uh, he's a dancing man, but uh, I think he's coming to fight when it comes down to Mr. Solo on uh, Saturday night in Pell City. And uh, what about, you know, Jonathan Grisham? I, I spoke about him earlier. He yep. was... Uh, he knows Spiral and several of the guys from beyond from Japan. I know he was a uh, zero one Japan uh, member of the roster over there, and he's taking on Clyde Braddock. And uh, these are two guys that um, you might not have ever seen before, but uh, you know the front office fills its time to give these guys a, a chance to come out here and be part of the global championship wrestling line. And uh, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of scrutiny when you try to get a job with this company. Oh yeah, and I, I am just I'm happy that I'm able to wrestle, but I'm super excited to be wrestling for the heavyweight championship on that night with Micah Taylor. And you know I'm bringing it all. You know, I, I know you you've been pumping me up mentally, and yeah, you talked about the thing, the hoops I've jumped through to get here and. Uh, the weight loss and training hard and you've seen a difference in my attitude and my focus has been really good um, you know and I, I talked to Bernie Kowanowicz a couple weeks ago and he was just telling me about how it's just been invigorated and just full of excitement and uh, the excitement comes from the fans telling me that uh, I needed to get a shot at that belt and I appreciate that their support and their their mindset that they put me in to uh, make a stab at this thing again. And uh, with their support, I think I can do it. You know, and, uh, go ahead. No, 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 that's it. I'm just being long-winded now. Hey, I, hey, I know hey. I, I hung in there with Micah <laughs> this last weekend at Tryon, Georgia, and you know, I wish that would have been for the belt, but uh, I'm glad we're doing it in Pell City because, like I said, we, we've had some uh, great moments there, but uh, you know, that's kind of our you know, every you can always depend on the last Saturday in the month being Pell City, except for October, because that one sometimes bounces around with the Legends Fest, all according to the big Square Dance Convention. Yeah, <laughs> been there since uh, the beginning of the creation of the city of Pell City, I think. But you know, we're stepping in there. We're going to make it happen. You know, Palmerdale's always the first Saturday, but you don't want to miss this one. You know, and you don't need to miss any of them. But you know, I need your support. I need you to come out. I'm, I'm battling for uh, the belt, but if I can win that thing, I'm doing it for the the people, the the fans of Global Championship Wrestling. We appreciate our fans. You know, uh, no matter who you cheer and boo for, you know it's 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 all about you. And we appreciate um, you know all the internet support, the social media, all the hard work that Eddie does to keep everybody in the loop and let them know what's going on with the GCW radio to Facebook to Twitter to uh, Boom Boom Tanner and you know all the minions of the underground you know we, we're just glad that you come to spend time with us on Saturday night we do appreciate you you know we say it a lot but 
we mean it because uh, without the fans, there is nothing. You know, you can sit at home and play a video game on Saturday night and create a character, and then uh, <laughs> you can get out there and do your own thing. But uh, you coming to see us? Like we say, we, we try to be the best of wrestling's past, present, and future. You know, we we don't have to hit each other with uh, cookie sheets to get over and uh, forty thousand light bulbs. Uh, because we actually know how to wrestle. It was only thirty six thousand nine hundred. You know, I, I won't take anything away from those guys that, who can do that stuff. Because you know, I love Terry Funk and Mick Foley, two of the greatest of all time. But uh, you know, you can only have one match like that. You can't have forty. You know, that's that. That's the thing. You know, it's just you know, it, it's anticlimactic after a certain point. You know, what's funny is I was going through, we're getting ready to relocate the uh, full range entertainment and beyond ringside studios in the near future. And I've had a chance to go through some stuff as I'm putting stuff in boxes. And I stumbled across a, um, I stumbled across a tape the other day. And this was one that I thought that I'd moved over to video and I can't find the file, but it was a match that took place between the night prowler and a certain canine friend of mine in a hardcore match. Oh, is it the one where I put the garbage can on his head and yeah. I dropped the elbow and yeah. hit it with the chair and all that? Yeah. Golly, I would love to see that. Because, you know, and there are some classic matches, and a lot of people know that the um, BR Hidden Cam, <clears throat> which never really hides, it's right there beside the table, um, is rolling a lot of the times during live events. Now, you know, we have a functional agreement in place that somewhere down the road, some of those matches may become GCW Web Gems. And we're actually, there's some things going on behind the scenes right now in Global to where we are working on some new venues as far as being able to display what happens at Global Championship Wrestling. Um, those are still very much in the works. I'm not going to put anything at risk or I'm not going to take unnecessary liberties right now. I will just say, and this is straight up, and you're getting it from all parties, that there are some very exciting things happening with Global Championship Wrestling right now. <laughs> and for everybody who, and the, the number one question that I get other than, what's when's the next show and who's going to be on it, is what happened with GCW TV? We have some very intriguing situations in play. And it wasn't just CW21 that was in the works. There were actually four television stations that were in the works, plus another <clears throat> deal in play. Well, once again, we're looking, A, and primarily to give as much exposure to a great fan base as possible. So... There, even though it has taken a, a longer than any of us thought that it would to put everything pen to paper, trust me, when it all comes together, and I love it when a plan comes together. That's right, Hannibal. Yeah, exactly. One of my favorite shows of all time. I just need my cigar right now. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, and also, like I said, in addition to Little Screen, we're actually working on some other concepts that will be made um, public as soon as everything goes final. So definitely keep your ears posted. Um, we're going to have all the information through .com, through the social media, through the radio product, all of the above. Um, someone say cookies? Okay, Kid Johnny C. And everybody on the chat room is talking about cookies for a second. I'm going, hmm. Oh, the cookie sheet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful with those cookie sheets. Corning wear. It's a pain in the head and neck and back and posterior. That's all I'm going to say about that. Not that I've ever been hit with one more than six times. You but, know. I just want to say I know there's a lot of fans out there that are listening live and there's a lot of folks in the chat room and thank you for taking time away from your college work or whatever you're doing tonight. Maybe you just finished watching The Walking Dead and you're just excited. And, but uh, thank you for your support that you give us You know, every time you come to a show and thank you for telling your friends and family you know, that you can bring your kids to a good, clean family show. And yep. It's still violent and good, but it's like the wrestling back, you know, in the Bullet Bob times. You know, I, I meet people every day. It's like, I used to watch it, but it got ruined for me. Well, you know, come out and, and see it. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm pretty much guaranteeing you're going to like it, especially if you like the old school stuff. You know, I mean, there's just, you know, there's a time and a place for everything, you know, uh, 
and there's a time for a cage. There's a time for, you know, a lumberjack strap match. There's a time for, uh, you know, all the different kinds of elements of matches there are. Texas you know, death DLC. match. But you, you got to just come out and enjoy some well-trained, you know, guys that they don't look like your next door neighbor. You know, the, these guys actually tan and they work out and they eat right and they take this very serious. You know, we're not wrestling in t-shirts from Walmart. Uh, we're not wearing uh, combat boots. You know, if that's your gimmick, good for you. But, you know, come out and see professional athletes. We, we don't just do it once a month or bi-monthly. I mean, most of the guys on the card are wrestling six to ten times a month. Yep. Like we talked about uh, when we were coming back from uh, Warner Robins one time. You know, we had 47 shows last year. Ain't nobody else pulling them kind of numbers. You know, 47 shows. Well, it's 52 weeks in a year, so think about 47 shows. I mean, you know, come on. I mean, that that's pretty impressive for an independent wrestling group. I mean, I'm not just saying that because of work there, but, uh, you know, we're, we're doing our best to give you the best out there. Yeah. And hitting a lot of different areas. And, you know, got to go down to uh, Monroe in May and still working on that. I think I have the date for you, Eddie. I'll wait and talk about that as the week progresses. But, uh, you know, GCW is going to be surrounded with some really top talented guys. I mean, uh, you know, down in Monroe, we're doing something uh, with Al Snow. And, golly, I think the list is huge uh, who yeah. all is on the card. And we're doing it in conjunction with another wrestling group. But, you know, hang in there and come and watch and be supportive. And, you know, you know like I said, cheer for the wrestlers you like. Boo the ones you don't. I'm, I, we just want you there. We need you. Without fans, you don't, you don't have a show. And, you know, enjoy it. And there, there's people that catch all the shows and that go on in Alabama, and that's great. I, I, you know, you, you go see as much wrestling as, as possible. But uh, if you miss out uh, on Pell City or you miss out on Palmerdale or Jasper, wherever we might be that night, you miss a great wrestling show. I'm just telling you that. But That's it's your truth. money. Spend it how you like. <laughs> Now, this is something that I said back when we were full scale on television and on blip, you know, to, in, you can only take in so much of what's happening on television or on your computer screen to be there live in the Pell City Civic Center at the Palmerdale Homestead Community Center at in the school at Tryon or in Monroe or the venues that we've been in, in previous days. There's nothing like it. To be there and to experience it. To take it all in firsthand. No glass in the way. No gorilla glass in the way. There's nothing like it. To be there live is the best way to enjoy global championship wrestling. That I guarantee. Folks, do me a favor. Hang tight. We're going to go to a quick break. We are going to be back in two right here on GCW Radio. Hang tight. Set and ready to ride one more time right here on GCW Radio on a Sunday night. Welcome back in. Going at two minutes after the top of the hour, going a little bit of sudden death overtime, if you know what I mean on this edition. Once again, want to thank everybody who has been joining us all the way through www.beyondringside.com and the Beyond Ringside Radio Network. Thank you to everybody who's joining us through Ustream and the GCW Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash GCW Pro Wrestling. Fast Eddie Lane over here, welcoming back in one more time, the Mad Dog, Dan Sawyer. It's the uh, time of the Unchained Mad Dog coming up the week. <laughs> preparing for March 30th. It's going to be good. You realize... <laughs> I'm excited. I'm telling you, I think it's good. You realize Great. my brain Coming. went in a different direction, Dan. When The second you said, it's me, I thought you were going to go, it's me, it's me, it's the M-A-double-D-O-G. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, we both know him. We're both friends with him. We could probably get away yeah. with it. Nah, that's that's my buddy, and I'm glad he's got a job. You know, and uh, I'm I'm so happy that you know him and Scott are doing so well in WWE, and they put Bullet in the uh, Hall of Fame, you know, which he's not retired, and he will be at Southern Legends Fan Fest this October. That wasn't yep. his last match up there and wherever, 
But, uh, you know, lots of great things coming up this week. You know, we got the tag team champions on the line. Uh, you know, Unlucky Charms being challenged by High Def. Ladies Championship, Tracy Taylor and Octavia. And I'm wrestling for the gold, the GCW Heavyweight Championship with Mike and Taylor. No DQ, last man standing, Falls Count Anywhere. Uh, you know, <laughs> crack tight upon a pole match. I don't know. You put as many stipulations as you want to with it. But when the uh, dust clears and all is said and done, I think the dog's going to have the belt. That raised up high, and he's going to win it for all the people, all the little girls and boys in GCW Wrestling Land, just showing that uh, there's still some fire left in the old Mad Dog. Want to take a moment to say thank you to everybody who has been joining us in the chat room over the last little while. I'm Zir Dreas, Awesome BM, Brandon, glad to see you tonight. Mad Match, Hot Ice, Kid Johnny C, and a longtime friend. And if there was such a thing, which I'm sure there will be soon, he would be a first ballot Hall of Famer. I do believe the Machine Guff Grayson is in the chat room listening live right now. Oh, now. I had, I had a little lunch with the Machine uh, on uh, Friday before hitting the road in Tryon, Georgia. I had a little Italian food. It was very, very good. Man, you're just going international. You and I have Mexican. You and him have Italian. Hey, we got yeah, it going on. Yeah, I just kind of go wide variety, and occasionally I'll have some sushi with beautiful women. But, uh, you know, that's another time and another day. <laughs> Rock on. want to remind but, everybody. Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. want to remind everybody that you can reserve ringside seating and they are reserved first come first serve so get your request in now the address to email is gcwmedia at yahoo.com once again that is gcwmedia at yahoo.com our front office monitors that email account on a daily basis sometimes hourly sometimes semi-hourly and (laughs) you can reserve seating at all regular indoor GCW events by sending an email request let us know how many seats you're going to need it is just that easy and like I said we do put everything on a first come basis now there are people who reserve seats for every show that is a lock Um, groups like uh, the Hot Ice Cotillion, Francis Hood and the Bunch um, Heel Nation um, we've got about 8 or 9 different groups different families different organizations that come on regular basis so and when and they normally know to hit us very quick and let us know it's like hey we're bringing six hey we're bringing 10 hey we're bringing 14 and it's like the i think it's the bell uh the pell city boy scout troop that'll normally reserve anywhere between 16 and 24 seats Mm -hmm. yeah so definitely um if you're able to make it this saturday night march 30th to pell city and you would like to try to reserve ringside seats because once again i said it a minute ago and i will say it again it is on a first come first serve reservation basis and we start with the front and we work our way outwards there are four sections of seats and we do everything we can to be as fair depending on how many you ask for that is a promise that is a guarantee from all of us at global championship wrestling in the front office right daniel that is correct there's no other place holding seats for you you know as far as independent wrestling uh, you know, Ring of Honor is still independent wrestling. <laughs> so, yeah, yes, I think they is. have reserved seating. Dude. But, uh, you know, come check it out. It's going to be great this weekend. And, uh, you know, we follow up the next week. We'll be at uh, Locust Fork on April the 5th at the Locust Fork Cafetorium. And then April the 6th, we'll be at the Palmdale Community Center. And, of course, April the 7th, we'll be at Buffalo Wild Wings enjoying <laughs> Wrestlemania. So make your plans to be there at the Buffalo Wild Wings in Trustville, Alabama. Yeah, you got that right. And Birmingham's original rock and wrestling radio show, Beyond Ringside, will be live. And, of course, we're going to be combining forces, all the flagship shows, um, on the Beyond Ringside Radio Network, Global Championship Wrestling's GCW Radio, Beyond Ringside Live, and the To Be Determined show. Um, You've got cast past and present. I've been in conversations with a number of different uh, personalities. Uh, Matter of fact, spoke with the Machine Guff Grayson recently. He is committed. He will be um, at Buffalo's for the WrestleMania broadcast. Podcast. Um, you yourself have said that you're going to be there. A number of the stars from Global Championship Wrestling will be at um, Buffalo Wild Wings in Trustful. If everybody is eating, please don't ask for pictures and autographs while we're consuming foodage. 
Unless you're buying my dinner, then, yeah. hey, then you cool. can uh, you can you can take a picture with me. Hey, look! If you walk um, up and if you walk up and say, "Hey, look, dude, I got you the grilled chicken wrap on the way," or I got ten garlic parm boneless on the way, hey, we'll talk all night. <laughs> I'm easy, but yeah, also with a with a, with a uh, diet coke with a crown bag, right? Uh, actually, no. It would probably either be water or a Minute Maid lemonade, possibly a regular Coke or a Sprite, and it's been a while since uh, me and since I've worn the crown. Okay. Believe it or not, it has been. I did have two the other night yeah. over at the Iron Horse, which you know that shameless shill is on the way. <laughs> <laughs> would I be me if I didn't? Ah, that's all right. There you go. Um, you don't put yourself over, nobody else will. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. <laughs> exactly. No, but is, that see, mad, is that Mad Madge? Is that like... Uh, I'm soaking in it. Wasn't that Palm Olive? That was Palm Olive. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, Mad Mad said, I just like to call myself VIP laughing out loud. So. What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm reading in the chat room right now, and everybody who's been over in the chat room lately, I've been try- I've been keeping oh, track. Black Eyed Peas, I guess. Uh, Mad Madge said they lost sound, so bear with me for one hot second. Let me come over and check connections, and everything should be clear on .com right now. Mm. Um, hold on a second. Let me type in the chat room. I'm going to tell everybody to, um, if you lost sound, refresh the page. Yes, we're doing this live, and I'm not going to fix it in post. There. Ha. Just that easy. But also, Wicked Nemesis and the To Be Determined show, of course, going to be represented. A lot of people don't know the fact that the, uh, the Wicked Nemesis does host the To Be Determined wrestling radio show on Wednesday nights right here, 9 o'clock p.m. Central Time, 10 o'clock Eastern, on the Beyond Ringside Radio Network, along with, you got to love it, Mad Dog Matt Denton. Corey Smart Grays a champion, uh, the multi-time NWA Women's World Champion who just came back to join us this past Wednesday night, Tasha Simone, and of course yours truly is producing that particular show. Um, so we're going to have those cast members joining us um, via telephone and in person uh, this um, for WrestleMania. Um, of course, uh, the I'm trying to put it all in proper perspective. Um, yours truly, Fast Eddie Lane, Mark Mabo Bowman, the Oracle of Ominous Wicked Nemesis, and we all do crossovers for, as far as the show goes. Uh, the core group of Beyond Ringside Live. And like I said, uh, previous cast members, Evil and Diva, expected to be there. Hitman BDC, um, had a conversation with him recently. Looking forward to um, him being at the uh, WrestleMania show. Also, getting in touch with, and this is going to be one a flashback for you, Zen Master DMC, Doug McGarry. Oh, boy. Yeah, <laughs> looking forward. Yeah, make to- sure we had to make sure the machine's off the road because uh, I remember we were going to training one time and he rear-ended the machine, Jeff Grayson. Ruh ruh, Reggie. Did not know anything about that. There's some stories I've yet to be told out of all these years. You know, that's one thing you and I need to really just sit down and do a full-scale interview one time, because I know that there's been some times that there have been some road stories that you haven't told me that I, that would absolutely be a blast to hear. So there may be a uh, Mad Dog Dan Sawyer Monday night conversation in the very near future. Goodness gracious, we may have to change the names to protect the innocent or the not-so-innocent, I don't know. Uh, eh, wrong answer. <laughs> I have a feeling. I have a feeling him and I on this conversation, folks, is going to end up like Tim Conway and Harvey Corman from the old Carol Burnett show. Use Yahoo and look it up, okay? <laughs> but seriously, this dude, this coming Saturday night, I am really looking forward to it. Um, let me go ahead and put this one out there. The results of my uh, demise have been greatly exaggerated. So for those who read between the lines, eh, eh, there's no lines to read between. Let's just leave it at that, okay? And from that vantage point, you know, we're talking about April 7th on the horizon. You're also talking about Locust Fork on the horizon. We've got some great dates coming up in the near future. You're talking about Monroe in the month of May. And, you know, it's always an exciting time to be a part of Global Championship Wrestling. And this is something that I've said from square one, because we don't sit back and rest on our laurels. We don't sit back and say, hey, that was a great show. Let's take a break. We'll worry about the next one as it gets closer. No. I mean, the entire front office, everybody works together in unison to try to make sure that we have everything covered. We try to get the, um, the matches, everything lined up. Now, every once in a while, we have a hitch every once in a while with contract negotiations with certain people. I mean, it's it's really kind of hard to put in proper perspective sometimes, but we do everything we can to make sure that everybody knows what's going on as quickly as possible, right? Uh, yes. Yes, that is, that is true. But, you know, every week there are new wrestlers 
trying to make it in the business, learning the craft, and, you know, men and women. We'll just go ahead and say that, men and women. And uh, I got five new students starting this Saturday, March 30th. Yeah, you know, I got like a open tryout deal, uh, you know, going on to Pell City Civic Center, and that's, that's not open to the public, but uh, guys who have made reservations for a tryout so we got five new guys trying to make it but you know i got uh you know ladies and guys training all the time and you know it is kind of a uh not easy business to get into no it's not you got to work hard and you got to have good attitude and you got to be an athlete but you know your heart is what it's all about how how much you want to do this and it's easy. It's kind of like the guy who watches Monday Night Football and thinks he's the armchair quarterback. You know, anytime WrestleMania or a big pay per view comes around, everybody thinks that they they can do this and you know you know kick up uh, a new promotion or whatever. Well, it's not very easy, or there would be more of them around now, especially with the athletic commission. You know, that's why I worry about these guys with the uh, hardcore stuff because remember they shut us down. Uh, was it last, not January before last? Yeah, for the about TLC. Having a ladder in the TLC match. Right. Because it didn't know, uh, guard, you know, guardrails. Right. So, you know, guys that are running these shows, best of luck to you and hope that, that, uh, a signal flare doesn't go up to the Athletic Commission because they will shut you down. Yeah, yeah, they will. That's just what they do. And, uh, you know, best of luck to you. And I hope you make all the money in the world. You know, I've said this, Alabama is a great state for professional wrestling. And they're, I mean, you've got some guys out there who play manipulative little games. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Little BS games. We don't have to. We don't want to. And we're not going to. Because we pride ourselves at Global Championship Wrestling of bringing you top-notch athletic competition inside the squared circle featuring some of the best of the up-and-coming of your current stars, and some legends sprinkled in along the way. That's the easy way to say it. We don't play games. We do wrestling. And in my humble opinion, sorry folks, i got to say it like this, we do it damn well. End of discussion, beginning of fun. Right, Dan? (laughs) Yes. Folks, we're going to go and get ready to call it a night here at the Radio Ranch. I want to thank you for joining us on Global Championship Wrestling's GCW Radio this Sunday night. Once again, I want to remind everybody, now, Beyond Ringside, keep your eyes open on Facebook.com slash Beyond Ringside Live. Um, we'll have all the information on our Facebook fan page as to when Beyond Ringside Live will come back. It should be, we may do an Easter night episode. That is still up in the air, so keep your eyes open. Also, Facebook.com slash Fast Study Lane. Um, and when are we going to get you on Facebook or Twitter, Mad Dog? I was just past that recently. Ah, I like my privacy. You know? You know, what would they do if they actually knew where I was? You know, they have to make up uh, stories about me now, about uh, <laughs> where I am and what I'm doing and who I'm with. So what would they do if they actually had any inkling about where I was? (laughs) And by the way, for those of you who thought that I wouldn't get it in, you lost that bet. I would like to invite everybody to join me this coming Tuesday night at the Iron Horse Cafe on Montgomery Highway in Hoover. I'll be kicking off the music and opening up the microphones for karaoke at 9 o'clock p.m. Central Time. And, of course, on Friday night, back at it, you better believe it, at Buffalo Wild Wings in Alabaster, 9 o'clock p.m. start, and we're going to go until Last Call and beyond. Keep your eyes open on FastEddieLane.com for upcoming appearances just like Definitely. For late-breaking information about all things Global Championship Wrestling, keep your eyes open on GCWPro.com. Thank you to Jeremy Foster for joining us here on the show this evening. Mad Dog, always a pleasure to have you on board, sir. One of the founding fathers of GCW Radio. Thank you very much, and it was a pleasure. And thanks to all the fans in the chat room and all the support at the live events. I love you, and I hope to see you all there this Saturday night in Pell City. If you can't make it then... See in Locust Fork on the fifth, or Palmerdale on April the sixth. You got it. But, uh, you know, just keep on watching and supporting professional wrestling, and uh, we promise to keep putting on the best professional wrestling shows there are. 
Eddie, thank you very much, sir. Good night. I look forward to speaking to you later on this week. You got it. And to all the fans, thank you for hanging in there with us through this hour and beyond. Hmm. And uh, look forward to seeing each and every one of you this Saturday night, March 30th, Pell City Civic Center. Come support me as I take on Micah Taylor from the underground. Hey, big matches. Can't miss it, guys. Come see us. Only $10. Thank you again for joining us right here on Global Championship Wrestling's GCW Radio, folks. Keep your eyes open on Facebook.com slash GCW Pro Wrestling and at GCW Pro Wrestling over on Twitter for upcoming information on upcoming editions of GCW Radio. For Jeremy Foster, for Mad Dog Dan Sawyer, this is the Magic City Motormouth Fast Study Lane saying until next time, keep it locked in right here as we go ringside and beyond <clears throat> with Global Championship Wrestling.